Subgia 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 Sats. Deals about Earths, rocks and geology, guess and remote sensing. Technology and describe Subgia Sats. Welcome back to Subgia Sats YouTube channel. Please like, share, and comment my YouTube channel. In this uh, tutorial, the, uh, we will discuss about uh, rock forming minerals part three, uh, which is about ortoclase. Ortoclase is one of the rock forming minerals, and it is a common rock forming mineral. Uh, in the previous uh, episode, uh, we have discussed about quartz and uh, feldspar group, which is uh, Plagioclase in part two. Uh, in this tutorial, we will discuss about what Orthoclase part three. Okay, uh, Orthoclase is one of the most uh, common rock forming mineral from what from the feldspar group. About the physical and optical property that can be uh, used to uh, identify Orthoclase from other minerals. Uh, identification okay uh, so uh, we will uh, discuss the diagnostic feature for uh, orthoclase mineral that differentiate from others based on it is uh, physical and optical property okay uh, orthoclase is a common mineral that belongs to a feldspar group okay as uh, we have discussed orthoclase is a feldspar group feldspar have Three groups: orthoclase, plagioclase, and microclase. This is the the, the second uh, part of the feldspar group. That's orthoclase or K feldspar. It is uh, fractionated from involved reaction trees uh, into three water feldspar group. It is one of the three main types of feldspar uh, group. That's from what from three part from what plagioclase. Microclean and also what orthoclase. So orthoclase is uh, orthoclase means which is what K feldspar in uh, feldspar group that uh, that is uh, common rock forming minerals mostly in igneous rock. Okay, uh, orthoclase minerals have a unique sets of physical and optical properties that that can make them what. Uh, different from others. It has a unique physical and, proper, physical and optical property different from other rock forming minerals. Okay, so uh, let us uh, see uh, what are the uh, physical and optical property uh, used to distinguish uh, orthoclase from other minerals. Uh, okay, uh, here are some of the optical and of the physical property of the orthoclase mineral physical property of what orthoclase the first one the first one is optical pro physical properties of orthoclase orthoclase mineral possess a fascinating set of physical properties that set them apart from others okay that means it have a diagnostic feature used to determine it from others others uh, Feldspar group mineral or other rock forming minerals. So um, the first one is uh, color. Okay, the first physical property that is used to, to distinguish orthoclase from other minerals is color. Orthoclase can exhibit a variety of color. Okay, depends on what it have a variety of color. That is a pink color, white, gray, and green. The presence of impurity influence what it is color. So, orthoclase shows different colors that we have seen this, this one, pink, white, and gray. Most common, the common color identification of orthoclase is pink. Pink is a common uh, color identification. Most of the time, orthoclase exists in what? Pink. The color the, the change in color in orthoclase is due to the impurity. Okay, impurity is a main cause for a change in the color of what? orthoclase. So common color identification or the common color of orthoclase is the pink color. Okay, you you should know the color. So 
it is pink in color and if it is changing color due to what the impurity or the presence of other minerals or other dirty materials that cause changing color during it is crystallization or during the fractionation of magma if there is impurity during the crystallization of uh, or the fractionation of magma or the, the cooling of magma the orthoclase mineral formation cause the impurity that cause it at changing color okay uh, the second uh, physical property of uh, orthoclase is luster typically it have what glassy luster or purely luster common okay the luster of orthoclase is glassy or vitreous luster uh, the third one and the most common physical property used to identify orthoclase or tefil spar is hardness in more hardness it is a uh, it feels in what six it has six uh, more hardness the hardness of uh, orthoclase or tefil spar is six in more hardness so it is harder relative to other below six hardness okay uh, the first one is uh, it have our cleavage so cleavage is also the main common physical property of what the uh, orthoclase it have two sheets of cleavage that have at 90 degrees with a prismatic cleavage okay prismatic shape cleavage it has two sheets of cleavage it have what two sheets of cleavage that cross each other with at, at right angle or on 90 degrees to each other an image uh, or uh, as you have seen in this image this is a prismatic shape this, this crystal okay this is a prismatic shape and this uh, and this one is a cleavage cleavage direction means this one okay have you seen the cursor one this line is a cleavage and this one also cleavage so they are approximately cross each other in 90 degrees so the cleavage of plagioclase or the cleavage of orthoclase minerals uh, is uh, at, it has two sheets of cleavage cross with each other at 90 degrees the one uh, the one character or the fifth one uh, physical property of orthoclase is what fracture orthoclase uh, have a common fracture like it is a conchoidal fracture or similar to glass that cuts in smooth or in curved direction in curve okay the fracture of uh, autoclase is what conchoidal fracture it shows what conchoidal it has curve we have seen in the last episode about the physical property identity the physical property definition and uh, what are their physical property in the last uh, uh, Episode. Uh, if you have, if you uh, if you want to see uh, the physical property of minerals, please uh, go in search geoscience and search the physical property of mineral and the things are. Okay, I have done uh, the physical properties of uh, minerals. Okay, so the fracture is one one of the physical property of. Uh, Orthoclase. Subgeosats. Deals about Earth's rocks and geology, gas and remote sensing. Technology and describe subgeosats. Uh, the sixth and most common physical property of orthoclase is its density. Most of the, the density the density of orthoclase field spar is around 2.54 gram per cubic centimeter. This is a measurement that is common, okay? Uh, the density is 2.5. This is also one of the physical properties of orthoclase. The orthoclase minerals. Uh, and also seven, the crystal system. It is common, okay? Crystal system. In which crystal system? There are six crystal systems. From the six crystal system, uh, orthoclase field spar or the orthoclase mineral or K field spar is in what monoclonal crystal system okay the crystal systems of orthoclase is monoclonal crystal system from the sixth one okay this is simply what read uh, 
uh, and, and the other physical property is uh, transparency. Most of the time, orthoplays have transparent to a translucent. Okay, the transparency or the transparency of light transparency means it depends on the light. What it is transparent or if it's transparent or translucent depends on the light. If you light on the sample, it becomes transparent or translucent. Depends on the impurity. Okay, it depends on the impurity present in that in this uh, orthoclis or in the orthoclis mineral. It becomes what the range between what transparent to translucent. Okay. Uh, okay. Simply, uh, we can. I want uh, to uh, summarize the common. Uh, physical property of orthoclase or the paganistic features of uh, orthoclase on what depends on their physical property. Uh, it is a common one and it is a diagnostic physical property of orthoclase's color. The color of orthoclase commonly pink. Okay, you should know pink color. And it, uh, it has a less share of glassy, it is hardness 6, and it's st streak. The streak, mean, streak means the color of the powder when you strike, when you uh, strike the uh, mineral. When you strike the mineral or toclase, it has a white color. The powder, the color of the powder is white. That is what? The streak. So, it is streak is white and cleavage. The cleavage of uh, orthoclase is uh, two sheets of cleavage that cross each other in what? In 90 degrees. So the diagnostic features of orthoclase in, in it is uh, physical properties of what? Orthoclase used to identify it from other rock forming minerals or non rock forming minerals. The second and the most important property used to determine optical, used to determine the orthoclase mineral or other is optical property. These types of property also I have them in uh, my YouTube channel. If you want to see or if you want to observe this or study about optical property, please go in pseudoscience and start the optical property of minerals. So, uh, as we have discussed in the last episode, rocks or mineral determined based on three methods. The first one is using physical property. The second one is optical property. And the last and more accurate used to identify rocks or mineral is geochemistry. So, if you are confused in the field used to in the field to identify minerals using physical property, you should come in the laboratory and make a uh, sections of the sample you, you are confused and uh, check in microscope. If if you are also confused in using uh, optical properties of that sample, you should make it a, it is geochemistry. Finally, geochemistry make accurate identifications of the minerals or rocks. Okay, so this is the second most uh, accurate uh, identification uh, of minerals using uh, optical property. So we have seen about the optical properties of photocrease. Okay, the one and most common uh, property of photocrease is it is pleochrase. As we have seen, procrease means changing color when we rotate the sample in when we rotate when we rotate the stage of the microscope. If the grain of orthoclase is changing color, it ha it it have procrease. Most of the time, orthoclase have low or weak uh, procrease. Mostly weak procrease. Most some some uh, most of the time it show a procrease and most of the time it can't show the. Uh, Plocorism. This is due to what the impurity. Impurity is the the the, the, the cause uh, that uh, that make uh, uh, cannot show the plocorism. Okay, 
plochorism of the orthoclase exhibitor at uh, plochorism, where different colors are observed when viewed from different angles. That means within rotating the page 360, we have changing color. Okay, however, the plochorism of uh, orthoclase is typically weak. The second uh, important uh, property, optical property of uh, orthoclase is uh, a refractive index. The, re the refractive index of orthoclase range from approximately 1.58 uh, to at 1.526. This is only one. Subgeosats deals about Earth's rocks and geology, geos. guess and remote sensing technology and describes subgeosats. This is what, this one is also very important because that is fire presence, orthoclase exhibit, fire uh, presence, which is different between what the maximum and minimum refractive index. Okay, it have also what fire presence. Fire presence means the maximum the difference between what maximum and minimum refractive index. Depends on what the refractive index. Fire uh, presence means uh, depends on the refractive index. This one is not also uh, valuable. Uh, the bare presence of uh, uh, orthoclase is a range between this number and this number, okay? By the way, this is not uh, valuable, simply. Wow, this one is very interesting uh, uh, optical property used to determine orthoclase in microscope, okay? Very interesting thing is this one. This is a tuning. The max was 98, approximately 98. This number, this is okay. Uh, Carl's part, these types of tunings, Carl's part tuning. So, uh, mostly, uh, the auto plays or shaping for or total shaping part for Carl's part tuning. Okay, most, mostly show polysynthetic and also show process tuning, the common tuning type is uh, orthoclase is carless uh, part tuning, okay, in microscope. Okay, it is important to uh, note that the property of orthoclase can vary due to what impurity and variation in its composition, okay? The property of orthoclase or other minerals most of the time change. What is the reason? The reason that change the property of a mineral is due to what impurity or variation in its composition. Okay, impurity is uh, the cause for changing property, physical property, or the property of minerals or rocks. Additionally, autoclase is an essential mineral in the formation of igneous rock. Okay. Orthoclase or potassium feldspar are uh, an important mineral uh, used to form rocks in most of the time in igneous rock, typically what? Granite. The most common compositions of granite is mostly what? Orthoclase or potassium. Subgeosats deals about Earth's rocks and geology, guess, and remote sensing. Technology and describes of geosats.